The next little baby cardigan is going to be an 18 inch button up cardigan. Um, I've already done the back. And one of the sleeves, which I'll tell you what I've done in a, a minute. And I'm about to start on the um, the left front, and I'm going to put a little cable up the um, the front of this. But before I show you that, I'll tell you what I've already done. It's a um, it's an eighteen inch button up button up. I'm putting instructions for V necks as well um, on the other side of this page, but but this is for a button up, and I'm using three point twenty five. For the ribs and four millimeters for the um the rest of the body and it's five and a half stitches to the inch it's an 18 inch but it's going to be 20 inches when it's finished because you always need that little bit extra so for the back i worked out that um the back would measure 10 inches so 10 times five and a half is 55 so i've cast on 55 stitches knit one by one rib for 10 rows and then I knit to 6 inches there's 34 rows that's what I did with my tension it depends on your own tension what um, number of rows you will do and then I cast off 3 stitches begin of the next 2 rows for the armhole and then it's knit 1, slip 1, knit 1, pass slip stitch over knit to the last 3 stitches, knit 2 together, knit 1 and purl one row and repeat the last rows until you have 19 stitches remaining. You put the stitches onto a holder for a button up or cast off for a v-neck. So this is the back. That's my 10 rows of rib. And it's plain knitting up to the armholes. Cast off three. And then decreased one stitch each end of every other row until there's 19 stitches. And was it 19? Yes, 19 stitches left for the back of the neck, which I put onto a holder. So that's the back. And then the sleeves. For the sleeves, I cast on 31 stitches, rib one by one for 10 rows. And I increased on the fifth and then on every sixth row until I had 41 stitches. And then I knit until it measured six and a half inches. That's a half an inch longer than what the, um, the back is. That's how I do my small ones, usually half an inch longer for the sleeves. And I did 40 rows. And for the armhole, it's the same as the back. I cast off three stitches, beginning of the next two rows. And then I decreased both ends of next and every alternate row until there were seven stitches and I placed those seven stitches onto a safety pin. And there as you can see the ten rows of the um the rib and then the increasing there you can see the increase there then the fifth row and then every sixth row Those little markers show you where where your increase is. And then the same as the back. Cast off three stitches both ends. And then decreased alternate rows until the seven stitches onto a safety pin. And for anybody that might want to write that down, I'll hold that up for just long enough for you maybe take a screenshot or pause the video and write it down and now i'm starting on the, um, the left front and for the left front i've cast on 27 stitches and i've ribbed one by one for 10 rows 
and the pattern there's four rows to this pattern the first row will be knit the second row is knit one purl four knit one purl to the end of the row and the third row is knit to the last five stitches slip the next two stitches onto a, a cable needle which is what i'm using here to the thing this is my cable needle you get all different kinds of cable needles but this is the kind i prefer and leave at the back of the work and then knit the next two stitches then knit the two stitches from the cable needle and knit one and the fourth row will be knit one purl four knit one purl to the end of the row and repeat these four rows until the work measures the same as the back <coughs> so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do the first row and i'm changing to my four millimeter needles because these are three and a quarter what i've got on the um yes yeah, so i'm going to knit the first row And I'll pause that until I get to the end of it. So at the end of that row now. And now the next row. Is knit one, purl four, knit one. It's knit one. Purl four. knit one and then purl to the end of the row now we pause up until i get to the end of the row and i'm on to the next row of the pattern which is the cable row and i'm going to knit to the last five stitches Now I'm on to the last five stitches. And I'm going to take two stitches off the needle and hold it at the back of the work like that and then knit the next two stitches. And then knit those two stitches from the cable needle. It gets a little bit awkward because I've only got one stitch left on here. And then knit that last stitch. And then the fourth row. Is knit one stitch, purl four, knit one, and then purl to the end of the row. And I'll meet you at the end of that row. And that is one crossed over cable you can see there and that that crossover cable will be done every fourth row so there's actually four rows to the pattern that's all it is to the pattern there's three rows of normal knitting and one row where you cross the cable over very simple and i will show you a bit more when i get further further on with this but this is it just for now well, I have knitted the um this side. I couldn't do a little bit at a time in the tutorial to show you exactly how I was doing it because I needed to knit it for to get the right number of stitches up here and the right number of stitches up there for to go on to the um 
to match the um, the back. So I've done the whole thing so I could knit it and then write it down because these are my own patterns. I am not copying up another pattern. So I had to work this out myself first. So it was no good doing the tutorial and showing you how to do this and then find I had the wrong number of stitches up here, which I did have and I had to pull it down a little bit. But anyway, I've done the, the 10 rows of rib and this is every fourth row. The cable's crossed over every fourth row and I knit them to, to it was six inches and then cast off three stitches here and then up the side I knit one, slip one and pass the slip stitch over every other row until up to here I had 13 stitches left and I cast off four stitches over the top of the um, the cable and then on the neck edge I decreased three times on alternate rows and just kept on going on the armhole edge until there was two stitches left and then I pulled those two together but it's written down on the um, the book here. The left front, which is where I've just said, I cast on 27 stitches, ribbed one by one for 10 rows. The first row was knit, the second row knit one, purl one, I'm sorry, knit one, purl four, <laughs> knit one, purl to the end of the row. The third row was knit to last five stitches, slip two stitches, onto a cable needle and leave at the back of the work, knit the next two stitches, then knit the two stitches from the cable needle and knit one. The fourth row was knit one, purl four, knit one, purl to the end of the row. And those were the four rows of the, um, the pattern. And then you repeat these four rows till the work measures the same as back, which was six inches. And then I cast off three stitches at the beginning of the next row, purl one row and decrease one stitch, knit one, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over on alternate rows until 13 stitches remain. Cast off four stitches at neck edge, decrease one stitch three times at neck edge and decrease at armhole edge until two stitches remain and then purl two together. So for anybody that wants to copy that, I'll leave it there. So you can see the um, the whole thing and then either a screenshot or just blow up the video and then you could copy it. And then I'll bring you this a little bit closer and let you see the, the cable. You put it on the with the bit of the front that I've done. With a bit of the back I should see, the bit of the front on with the back. And that's how it'll look on the front of the, the cardigan. When I get the rest done. And there's a sleeve. So all you have to do is sleeve and then do the right front. But the right front is exactly the same as the left front, only you reverse where you put the shaping. I think I put the shaping at the end of the row, the sh the, um, not the shaping, the, um, the cable at the end of the row. It'll be at the beginning of the row on the right, on the right side. And that's just a little bit of a look at what it's going to look like when it's done. For the right front, I'm going to show the how we the, you do the pattern on this side. So I'm knitting across the first row. And with the right front, instead of starting with the um the pattern I'm going to pull to and I pause until I that's the last five stitches and now I'm going to knit one 
pull four. It's not pulled to the last five stitches, pulled to the last six stitches. So I'm going to knit one, pull four, knit the last stitch. And this row is the cable row. So going to knit one, cable needle, and take the first two stitches onto the cable needle and hold it at the back of the work. Knit those next two stitches. Bit awkward. I'm going to push the needle up. I'm going to lose the stitches off there. <laughs> and then knit the next two stitches off the cable needle. And then knit to the end of that row. And I'll meet you at the end of that row. Just I'm going to knit one, pull four. Knit one. The next row is just knit across. And there you can see the cable taking shape there. And the next row is just pull to the end to the last six stitches. That's knit one, pull four, knit one. And that's the the cable pattern for the right side of the um the cardigan. And ready for the next cable. So that's a little bit for now. You know when you're knitting cables and you go to your granddaughter's and she hasn't got a cable needle and you forgot your cable needle. Well they say necessity is the mother of inventions. And you can say that for me. This is what I did to cross over the cables. All I had was these two knitting needles. So first stitch was knit. 
And then I had to put, put the next two stitches on a cable needle. And I didn't have a cable needle, but I did have my comb. <laughs> so I slipped those next two stitches onto my comb. A little bit awkward because it's not the same as a cable needle. <laughs> and I knit the next two stitches. Put those two stitches off my comb. Back onto the knitting needle with a little bit difficulty. And on. That one on, put the comb down, knit that stitch, and that stitch, and knit across the row. And that's what I did, and as I only had one cable to cross over every four rows at the start, that's what I've done. Never say die, that's me. I don't give up on anything. And I knit across that row. Put those two stitches together. To armhole, knit that one. I have all the pieces knitted now. The back, two sleeves. And I'm going to pick up the stitches on the start with the the right front. I'm going to pick 10 stitches up here. A bit of wool I have left. It's one, two, three. Four. I'll pick one up from down there because there's a that's five six seven eight. Nine, that's ten, that's ten stitches for the, the right front. I'm going to have to put these stitches onto a needle because the pin's facing the wrong way. Safety pin. I think I'll miss a bit of that thing there. That's seven stitches off the. I'll tighten the stitch up after I've knitted it. I'm having to knit into the back of the um, the stitches because it's the way I pick them up off the pin. So 
that's seven stitches up the the first sleeve now I'm going to pick up 19 stitches from the back piece Now the seven stitches from the other sleeve. Then ten stitches down the left front. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm going to do about five rows of knit one purl one twisted rib and I'll come back when I've done that. I've knit four rows rib and now I'm going to cast off. And I'm casting off in twisted rib the same as what I've been knitting in. That's purl one, slip the stitch behind over the stitch in front. I call it casting off, um, some call it binding off the, I think it depends what country you're in really. Like We always say in the UK, we always say cast off. And I'm doing that quite loosely not pulling the stitch tight afterwards because you don't want it tight around the neck. Now we'll pause that till I get to the end of the row. That's my last couple of stitches. That one. Pull one the last stitch. Now I need to cut that off. So that's the neck on the cardigan. Just have to sew it up now and then put the um the button and the buttonhole bands on.
and I really think I could have got the next size out out of this. Um, there's still quite a bit of left. This left, I think I could have got a twenty inch out of it. Actually, it seemed to go a lot further than the last one that I knit. This is an eighteen inch anyway. So now all I have to do is sew it up first. Now when I do the seams, I do a flat stitch. I'll get a needle and just do a couple of stitches. I showed how to do these seams on um, the last tutorial I did, but I'll just do a couple of stitches to show what a flat stitch is. Just pulling the stitches tight and I would pin it as well, but I'm not pinning it today. But you just take a the needle from one side to the other while you're holding it flat like that. And that's how you do a flat seam, holding it like that. And then when I come to do the, the sleeve seams, I'll flat stitch the um the rib part and then do a back stitch. When I stitch up the um the side I'll hold it like that and put the needle put the needle that way. Put the needle in and out that way between the two things and back stitch over. So I will come back when when I've got this sewn up and I'm ready to do the um the bands. That's a cardigan all sewn up and I'm now going to do the um the bands. Now I've measured it's practically ten inches from top to bottom, so I'm going to place markers every two inches for to make it easier to pick up the stitches. So I don't need to put one there, I'll put one two inches. Four inches, six inches. And that's so all when I pick up the stitches, I calculate because um, I'm picking up the stitches all the way along that edge. And I do six stitches to the inch when I do these sort of um, bands. So that I have one, two, three, four, five spaces. Or ten, I mean ten, ten sixes are sixty, so I'm going to divide sixty by one, two, three, four, five spaces. And that's how I'm going to place the um the bands when I work out how many stitches in between each. And that keeps it even all the way along the um the edge. And I will come back to you when I've done that. So that's one little 18 inch cable front baby boy's cardigan. Would probably sit a fit about a six month old. And these are the instructions for anybody that might want to, to follow this pattern. I'll leave it on here for anyone who wants to take a screenshot or maybe copy it down. That's the first page. And that's the second page, the rest of the cardigan. So if you like that tutorial, 
would like to see more give a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll show you the next one that um i get around to doing so bye for now